tonight I'm going to share something with you about election results. From now until the election, we'll be doing that. And I pretty much hope that you enjoyed the first one we did about showing you voting patterns in Ashanti and Northern Ashanti and Volta region for the uh, presidential elections. Tonight, we're going to do something interesting. We have isolated the top 10 constituencies in Ghana beginning in the year 2000 when the constituencies were 200 up until the year 2016 when the constituencies are 275. We are going to show you how Ghanaians have been voting for the presidential candidate in these top 10 constituencies. A trend will, will emerge, and we have seen the trend already. We'll show you the trend as well. And then you can analyze it and see why the trend emerges. Part of the analysis also is to help you uh, so that on voting day, when we stand here again and the results start coming in, we will input those results in our template. And then we will see whether the trend will be repeated or whether the trend will be defeated. So we are now going to the touch screen to show you the top 10 constituencies. And um, we are dealing with the MPP and the NDC only. And you will find that when the NDC wins the election, uh, there's a certain way in which the top 10 constituencies behave. And when the MPP wins the election, the top 10 constituencies behave the same way. Without much ado, let's start from the year 2000, go straight to the touch screen and check out what happened in the year 2000, the top 10. First of all, let me introduce to you, for the year 2000, what were the top 10 constituencies? So here is, the, here is your tax screen, and uh, you can see all the constituencies here. So for the election 2000, uh, our constituencies that were the top 10 constituencies were Bantama in the Ashanti region, Asokwa East in the Ashanti region, Menshia South in the Ashanti region, Ga South, Trobo Amasaman in the Greater Accra region, Old Tafu Suame in the Ashanti region, East Ayawaso in the Greater Accra region, Okaikwe North in the Greater Accra region, Ga North, Abokobi Madina, Greater Accra region, Ablekuma Central, Greater Accra region, Obuase West was Ashanti region. So let's count. One, two, three, four, uh, and five, one, two, three, four, and five of these top ten constituencies were in the Ashanti region, and the other five of them were in the Greater Accra region. That's what happened in election 2000. The total number of registered voters in all the top ten constituencies put together was showing a figure of 1.128 uh, 492, 1.1 million, uh, 1.1 million, 28, was a total number of votes that uh, were registered in the top 10 constituencies. And we're going to see how the candidates fared. So these are the top 10 constituencies for us, uh, election 2000. And let's see what happened. So uh, the MPP win how many of these? In the first round, let's look first at the first round. The MPP win as much as um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven of the, of the constituencies went to the MPP. Bantama went to John Ajekum Kofor in the first round. He picked up 94,000. Asokwa East goes to John Kofor, 46,000. Mesha goes to John Kofor, 63,000. And uh, Ga South, Chobo Amasaman, goes to Professor Mills. He picks up 42. Uh, Professor Mills picks up 42,000 against John Kufour's 30,000 for the first round. And uh, John Kufour picks up Ota Fosuame. East Ayawa, so that is the Nima area. Professor Mills actually defeats President Kufour. Professor Mills gets 33,000 and John Kufour is on 26,000. Uh, quite, quite a significant defeat in East Ayawa, so that's the Nima area. Okay, Kwe North also, John Kufour picks it up even though it's in Greater Accra. Uh, Ga North, Abokobi, Medina, John Kufour picks it up as well. And uh, Ablekuma Central is picked up by John Kofu as well. So in the first round, uh, MPP win one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, seven of those constituencies are all won by the new patriotic party in the first round. And John Kofu actually leads in the first round by uh, 48 percent. Professor Mills is on is on 40, 40. Professor Mills is on 44 percent. Now keep your eye on something. What happens in the t top 10 constituencies? What happens when MPP wins? How many of the top 10 does MPP win to actually win the election? And, and let's look at what kind of trend is establishing over here. As we move on, we will see. So these are the top 10 constituencies for 2000. You notice that a constituency like Lejokuku is not in the 2000 list 
of the top 10. But it finds its way in the list as we go on. Of course, a constituency like Ketu South is not in the list in the year 2000, but it does find its way into the list. So the list gets more diverse away from just Ashanti and Greater Accra as we move on, because constituencies in the Volta region are coming up to be very high registered voters places. So, so that also is coming up. So this is what happens. Uh, in the second round, not much to say. John Kofu actually wins one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, John Kofu actually picks one more in the second round than he did in the first round. And we have to look for which constituency that is. And um, uh, well, uh, John Kofu picks up, I believe, one more constituency, but he picks up eight in the second round and he wins the election. So MPP pick up eight of the uh, top 10 in the second round. They have seven in the first round and they win the election. Let's see how the trend continues in 2004. So in 2004, we have only one round of an election. Kufo is president and the, the top 10, uh, something has changed. You can see number nine, uh, Lada de Cotopon has come into the top 10, and uh, Lejo Kuku has also come into the top 10. Lada de Cotopon is this constituency uh, in the Laboni, uh, Labadi, 37, Burma Camp area. In 2004, they record a very high number of registered voters that qualifies them to come into the top 10 constituencies in the whole country. And Lejo Kuku, the Teshi area, uh, the East Airport area, and uh, all those places also record such a high number of registered voters that they come into the top 10. So let's review our top 10 for 2004. Number one is Bawe, Wejagbawe constituency. Number two is Ablekuma South. Wejagbawe is in Greater Accra region. Two is Ablekuma South, Greater Accra region. Okaikwe North, number three, Greater Accra region. Ablekuma Central, Greater Accra region. Ashaman, Greater Accra region. Ablekuma North, Greater Accra region. East Ayawaso, Greater Accra region. Menshia, Ashanti region. Lada de Kotopon, Greater Accra region. Lejokuku, Greater Accra region. That's very significant. We're talking election 2004 when Kufo is president. The dynamics of the, after the registered, uh, the, the voter registration exercise, something significant happens among the top 10. In the top 10, you no longer have five from Ashanti, which was in 2000, five from Ashanti and five from, um, from uh, Greater Accra region. Now, you only have one from Ashanti and all the nine in the top 10 are from the Greater Accra region. That's very, very significant. That, that's, that's an observation from 2000 to 2004. What happened in the Greater Accra region? Greater Accra region seems to be massing up. It seems to be increasing in registered voters. Rural urban migration is making the deal, and more people are coming into Accra than they were as far as uh, election polling is concerned from the year 2000. More over 18 Ghanaians are coming into Accra significantly. As you look at this data, you can see that it's a very, very significant jump from the year 2000 up until the year 2004. Let's go to the results and see what happens. Whereas more people register in Accra, John Ajakum Kufo now picks up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the constituencies go to the MPP at the presidential election. And you can see the MPP, the ones the MPP win is written in blue and the ones the NDC win is written in green. And so you can see that clearly on, uh, on, uh, on our data spreadsheet here. So that's interesting. And altogether, uh, John Ajakum Kufour from the top 10 constituencies, which is now 1.128, almost about the same registered voters, he's grabbing 526,578. And John Evans Atamils of the NDC is grabbing 400. 111,453 and the MPP is leading the NDC in the, uh, the votes cast in the top 10 constituencies by 115,000. That's significant because John Kofo is winning one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven constituencies and that gives him a lead of over 100,000 on Professor Mills. It means that in the constituency where Professor Mills were, was leading, uh, was winning, the votes were quite significant. So the difference between the two candidates is 115,000. This is 2004's results from the top 10 constituency. And the, the big story in 2004 is that significantly, Greater Accra region now uh, trounces Ashanti region in the top 10 constituencies. Nine of them are from the Greater Accra region. Let's move to election 2008 and see what happens in election 2000. This election, fierce election, you have two rounds of battle, actually three, but two rounds are significant. Let's look at the profile of the top 10 constituencies. And here they are. Way Jagbawe, Greater Accra Region, Ablekuma South, Greater Accra Region, Okaikwe North, Greater Accra Region, Ashaman, Greater Accra Region, Ablekuma Central, Greater Accra Region, Tema East, Greater Accra Region, Ablekuma North, Greater Accra Region, Manshia South, Ashanti, East Ayawasu, Greater Accra Region, Tobo Amasaman, Greater Accra Region. Okay. 
So we noticed that in the election 2000, uh, John Kufour won uh, seven of the top ten, and election 2004, he won seven of the top ten, and he was the elected president. NDC won uh, three in each case, and they didn't win the election. Election 2008 is a different one. It's significant. So let's see what happens in election 2008. Now, the profile of the top ten constituencies seems the same. Greater Accra is leading. They have nine of the top ten constituencies. Ashanti has only one of the top ten constituencies in the country. It means rural urban migration is a big deal and more people are moving to Accra, et cetera, et cetera. Now let's look at the figures and see what actually happens. So uh, in round one, Akufuado wins over Mills. One, two, three, four, five, six. Akufuado picks up uh, six constituencies out of the ten over Professor Mills. In the last election, John Kofor picks up seven. So Professor Mills has grabbed one. And uh, which are the constituencies that Professor Mills actually um, um, wins in the first round? And those are Ashaman. Professor Mills wins Ashaman, where he's grabbing 54,000 over Akufuado's 30,000. Professor Mills wins Abilekuma Central, where he's getting 43,000 over Akufuado's 40,000. Professor Mills wins East Ayawa, so where he's getting 47,000 over Akufuado's 28,000. And Professor Mills also wins Trobo Amasaman, where he's getting 37,000 over Akufuado's 27,000. So Akufuado wins, of course, in Weja, he wins in Ablekuma South, he wins in Okai North, he wins in Tema East, he wins in Ablekuma North, he wins in Manshia, and that gives him six of the top ten constituencies, whereas Professor Mills is picking up four. Significantly, round one. Let's move into round two and see what happens. In the second round of the election, uh, Akufuado now wins one, two, three, four, five. Akufuado drops from six to winning five only of the top ten. Professor Mills is also picking five. And significantly, uh, Ablekuma South changes. In the first round in Ablekuma South, Akufado is getting 50,000. Professor Mills is getting 49,000. Very, very close in the first round. 50,000, 49,000. In the second round, however, Akufado is increasing his votes. He gets 55,000. And guess what happens? Professor Mills goes further to 60,000. So Professor Mills edges it on Akufado in Ablekuma South in the second round. So let's see the, how the top 10 gathers now. NDC winning the election. This is an election NDC is winning, election 2008. And how does NDC do in the top 10 constituencies when they are winning? They pick up one, two, three, four, five. And keep that in mind. Five of the top 10 constituencies goes to the NDC, and five goes to the NDC. Whenever that happens, whenever the NDC wins five of the top 10, they win the election. Whenever the NDC is not able to win five of the top 10, they lose the election. So whenever the MPP wins more than five of the top 10, they win the election. And if the MPP is not able to win more than five and they split with the NDC, the NDC wins the election. 2008 is the first example. We'll look at 2012 and 2016, and then you get a clear pattern established. But watch out for how the dynamics change in terms of the registered voters. So now, from 2004 up to the year uh, 2008, Ashanti region has lost out on the top 10. Uh, most of the Alfori crooms have been booted out of the top 10. Rural urban migration is what my guess is, bringing people to Accra. And so Greater Accra has nine of the top 10 constituencies. And at the end of the first round in 2008, the MPP led the NDC by 28,000 votes, 28,820. And you know what that means over 2004. In 2004, John Kufour was leading by 115,000 in the top 10 constituencies. But four years later, in the first round, the MPP's uh, 115 lead in the top 10 constituencies has been shrunk to 28,820 votes. And then in the runoff in the second election, uh, uh, the MPP still lead by 30,000 votes, but in terms of the constituencies, it's split now. Professor Mills is picking five constituencies. Akufuado is also picking five constituencies. Fast forward to 2012. Let's see what happens in 2012 uh, as we are about to finalize this analysis. Okay, 2012 dynamics completely change. Uh, constituencies are changing, uh, things are changing, and uh, we are coming to look at the top 10 
constituencies as it was recorded in 2012. Lejokuku is now coming up as the number one. Lejokuku came in as number 10 in 2004. Rural urban migration, number of registered voters, more people moving to Teshi, I don't know, more people moving to the airport hills area. And this is significant because at this time, the construction has occurred in the airport hills area, the east airport. And so a lot of people are, are, con are doing construction work in that neighborhood. So on the railway over there, I think there's been significant migration of people staying there, and, uh, and they are working on the airport hills plus properties. So that probably has changed and made Lejokuku a significant player in the number of registered voters. So you have it there, 2012. Lejokuku is a constituency with the highest number of registered voters nationwide. They have registered 127,000 people, and uh, they are in Greater Accra. So Lejokuku tops down. And remember, they have come from bottom, and they are now at the top. Ablekuma West is the next. And see the new entrant into the top four. The first time from the Volta region. Welcome K2 South, Volta region. They have registered 127,000 people as well. And the significant thing about 2012 is that all the top three uh, have registered 127,000. So Lejokuku registers 127,000. Ablekuma West registers 127,000. Ketu South registers 127,000. Domikwa Benya registered 126,000. Ashaman registers um, 126,000. And then from there, you drop to the rest. So K2 South is the new entrance to the top 10 in 2012. Volta region, they are number three, the third largest constituency in Ghana. Domi Kwabenya is fourth. Ashaman is fifth. Ablekuma Central is sixth. Lada de Kotopon is seventh. Ablekuma North is eighth. Ofori Chrome comes in over there, uh, is nine. And Medina is at 10. So let's see how it, how it works. So Greater Accra, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the top 10 constituencies in 2012 are from the Greater Accra region. Greater Accra used to be nine and Ashanti one. A constituency has come in from the Volta region, K2 South. So that gives us a di the diversity, really, if you like, of the, uh, of the number of uh, biggest constituencies around the country. One from Volta region, uh, some from Greater Accra, the rest from Ashanti. For political sciences, that's an interesting diversity. But this is what it is in 2012. That's how the figures look like. And let's see what happens in 2012. How many constituencies of the top 10 does Akufuado win? And how many does John Dramani Mahama win? So we go to the board again. Akufuado actually picks up um, in the reckoning one, two, three, four, five. I told you to keep the figure five in mind. Mm -hmm. Akufuado picks up five. John Mahama picks up five. It's a total split between the MPP and the NDC. And when that happens, the NDC wins the elections. And I was telling you that on voting day when we stand here and, um, and that we pick it up, we would like you to input in the figures and we'll see whether the trend is establishing. Note it again, top 10 constituencies since the year 2000. For the NDC to win the election, they have to win five of the top 10 or split it up with the MPP. They've always won five at the highest. For the MPP to win the election, they have to be winning more than five. Remember that on voting night, we'll stand here and we'll show you what has happened to the top 10 constituencies in 2020's election. So this is 2012's election. Uh, Akufado wins, uh, Akufado loses Lejokuku. John Mahama picks up 53,000 in Lejokuku. Akufado has 40,000. That's a significant gap. And then in Ablekuma West, Akufado has 36,000. John Mahama has 25,000. In Ketu South, John Mahama has 76,000, Akufado has 5,000. In Domi Kwabenya, Akufado has 61,000, John Mahama has 37,000. Ashaman, John Mahama has 60,000, Akufado has 33,000. Ablekuma Central, Akufado has 49,000, John Mahama has 45,000. In Ladadekotopon, John Mahama has 52,000, Akufado has 35,000. Now, some of these figures in 2012 will also tell us the national swing in 2016. 2016 from the data shows a very, very massive swing uh, in the political history of Ghana. I think that was the biggest swing that we've had. Very similar to what you saw in Britain in 1997, Tony Blair's election, and very similar to what you saw uh, probably with the Donald Trump election or the Barack Obama election, a very, very major swing. Or in America, you can go as far back as 1980 to get Ronald Reagan's major, major victory in 1980 in that election. Uh, that seems to be what has happened in 2016. But look at the 2012 figures, and then you can understand why we are arguing that 2016 had a major, major swing. So these are the figures, and uh, at the end of the day, the NDC is leading in the top 10 constituencies, in the top 10 constituencies, sorry. The NDC is leading the MPP by 50,165 votes. This is election 2012. 
five five each is a split let's go to the last one election 2016 and let's get back onto the top 10 and see what has happened has something changed in the top 10 yes something definitely has changed in the top 10 now number one is k2 south as the constituency with the biggest number of registered voters is registered 141,000. Domikwa Benya is second, 138,000. Ledger Kuku has been knocked off its perch. It's now third. It's now 137,000. Ashaman is 136,000. Ablekuma Central is 132,000. Ofori Chrome has maintained its position in the top 10. And you know that Menshia is gone. Menshia has been gone for two election cycles. They have not been able to make their way back. So number six is uh, 120,000. Ofori Chrome. Ablekuma North is 120. Ladadekotopon has come in, still maintaining his position as 119,000. Anyasoutum is the other entrant into this one, 170,000. And Medina maintains his record as part of the top 10, now on number 10 as 116,000. So when the voters' registration is over, we will do a presentation to you and show you what our top 10 constituencies are for 2020's election. But let's look at what happens in 2016's election here. Um, so, Akufado picks up one, two, three, four, five, six. Bingo. Now, that's the magic number. As soon as the MPP win more than five, they win the election. And that's historical from the year 2000. As soon as the MPP win more than five of the top ten constituencies, the victory is assured. And there, John Mahama picks up one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, President Mahama is not able to clinch it. And the swing is so massive, it's so heavy. And each of the votes that Akufado is winning, he's winning by a very, very wide margin. So K2 South, John Mahama gets 65,000, Akufado is on 7,000. Domi Kwabenya is 62, Akufado 30, John Mahama. And uh, John Mahama is winning Ledger Kuku, but see how close it is. John Mahama is getting 44,406. Akufado is getting 43,956. Mighty, mighty close. Ledger Kuku is a place to watch because in Ledger Kuku, the parliamentary election is won by the MPP. Dr. Okoboy, uh, our favorite deputy minister of health, is the, is the one in the mix here. Okoboy is winning the parliamentary seat, just edging it, and John Mahama is just edging the presidential. I can't call it a skirt and blouse situation. I can call it a fierce contest that occurred in the Teshi area. In the third largest constituency in Ghana in 2016, it was a real brutal, fierce battle. The MPP picks up the parliamentary seat. The NDC picks up the presidential with numbers by the skin of the teeth, by the, the hairs on, on the mustache. The, the elections are changing in, in, uh, in Ledger Kuku. Clearly, that's a constituency to watch. Okobo is still there. He's been retained. Uh, President Mahama has been retained. President Akufuado has been retained. That's surely a constituency to watch, and you can be sure that we'll be watching it by the polling station and by the electoral areas. That was what happened in Ledger Kuku. Significant. Ashaman, President Mahama, 51,000, and uh, Akufuado, 36,000. And um, Ladadeko Topon is another one. So President Mahama is picking up 42,000. Akufado is picking up 37,000. Quite, quite a lead, over 5,000 difference. But guess what happens in the parliamentary elections? MPP win the parliamentary seat in Lada de Kutupon in another fierce contest. The parliamentary candidate was Namwale, who was the Minister of Fisheries, quite a vociferous MP. He was defeated by Obama uh, Odote. Uh, Ni Odote defeated him to become the MPP parliamentary candidate. Guess what has happened? Odote has been defeated in the primaries and somebody else has been elected for the MPP. So that, like the Dekotopon, is another constituency to watch. The MPP must put themselves together very, very well. Otherwise, it's so swing that it might slip because John Mahama actually won by 42,000. So this is what happened in 2016 uh, in the elections. And Akufado picked up six of them. And as soon as the MPP picks up six, of the 10, they have won the election. The NDC have won the election when they have picked up five. Whenever they're able to split the top 10 um, with MPP, they have won. That's the pattern, that's the trend. Including even when um, constituencies were changing and Ashanti was falling and Greater Accra was becoming the maximum. Right now, Ashanti has only won in the top 10 registered constituencies of Fori Chrome. All the rest is Greater Accra. K2 South, Volta region is also in there. After the registration, we'll see how this pans out. But this is food for your thought. And um, we're giving you this template so that on election night, we're going to put the figures in and we're going to tell whether the pattern has followed. Remember, the top 10 constituencies vote in a certain way. And when five of them vote for the MPP, um, the MPP, the NDC wins. If they split it 
five five the NDC wins. Anytime the MPP has won it since 2000, the MPP has won. So it's time now to tell us what you think, what are your analysis. This is our story and this is our song. <laughs>